What's up, guys? It's Ray and Jeff from AchievementHunter.com. Jeff, this is Far Cry 3 Blood Holy Dragon. Holy hell. This game is incredible. We thought this was a joke at first because there was like an April Fool's thing. Yeah, And then it no. turned out it was a real game. It's definitely no joke. I and mean, it's a joke. <laughs> yeah, but. it's a very, uh, I don't know, likes to make fun of itself kind of game. But uh, this game uh, is pretty much Far Cry 3 just with like a neon overhaul. Like the, the it's the Far Cry 3 engine. The game plays exactly like Far Cry 3, which is a great game, which is a good game to, I guess... Base yeah, your game off of. it's like it's like the best of both worlds. Like you get to revisit the Far Cry Three world. Yeah. Uh, but not in a like, hey, we're tacking on a prequel adventure. Yeah, or of any the of characters that. or any of that stuff. It feels totally. Well, I mean, it feels the same to yeah. play. But it just it, the new skin and the new story is so ridiculous and so over the top and so cool. It feels like a totally new game with all the mechanics that you already loved in Far Cry Three. It's good to mention that this is standalone. You don't need Far Cry Three to play it at all. So uh, you can just download this from Xbox Live Arcade or yeah, uh, it's on like Steam or anything. 15 it's fifteen, bucks. yeah, yeah. twelve hundred Microsoft points. And uh, yeah, we've been playing it all day. So let's go. Uh, let's go through some achievements so we can get back to playing it. Okay. The first two achievements we're going to talk about are Blood Dragon Down for twenty gamer score and Dragon Slayer for twenty gamer score, which is to kill your first dragon and kill twenty five dragons. And as expected, in a game called Far Cry Three Blood Dragon, there are dragons, <laughs> and uh, they fuck you up. They're really, really tough to take down. They shoot lasers. They out shoot of their lasers eyes. out of their eyes. And something cool they do is uh, they kind of glow. So it's like uh, green is. Uh, they're not hostile. Right. Uh, yellow is they're like searching for you, and red they're full on hostile, which is kind of reminiscent of the Metal Gear Solid like radar, right? Like, flashing colors and, and stuff. And then you can do a cool mechanic like in Far Cry Three. Mm -hmm. uh, you could do a thing like when because this game is all about outposts. Yeah. Like Far Cry 3 and this game they're called uh, garrisons. Garrisons. Yeah. You in Far Cry Three you go to an outpost and there's like a tiger in a cage. Yeah, a tiger you can or a bear or something. Shoot the cage open and then the tiger will then fuck up everybody in the outpost and you don't have to deal with anything. Yeah. You just have to not get killed by it. This is very similar, but in this game the mechanic is. Uh, every time you kill an enemy, you can rip their heart out. Yeah. And, like, their cyber heart. And then the dra dragons love cyber hearts. Yeah. So I don't know if you know that. Yeah. And uh, it's, like, candy to them. And then so you just throw it in a direction, and the dragon follows it, and then he just fucking lays waste. Yeah, and there's, like, a, I guess, like, a laser gate guarding each garrison, so... And the, uh, the dragon can't get through it, so if you, uh either blow up the generator or deactivate the switch, they just go right in and do the same thing. Yeah. So it's crazy. Uh, next uh, two achievements we're going to talk about are Just the Tip, which is the achievement of the week <laughs> for 15 gamer score, and Set Them Free. So Just the Tip is to kill a dragon with a bow. Uh, I just filmed the uh, a guide for that. Turns out the last hit only needs to be a bow, which is good. I figured, So yeah. you can fucking whittle it down with everything else. And then the brain cages are... Some dragons are, like, associated with the enemy, so you'll see them hanging out around garrisons, and they have, like, a little... I guess brain cage on their head. It's like a little red helmet, and you shoot it off, and then they go up against whatever. So okay. it's not just targeting you. So it's really really cool. Next team we're gonna talk about is Murder Nature, which is to kill all the animal types for 30 gamer score, and way to go Garrison for 20 gamer score, which is to finish all the garrisons. Do you know how many animal types there are? Uh, I want to say like 12 or something like that. But it's just like in uh, Far Cry 3, where you open up the map, it shows you where all the all the animals spawn, so it's not gonna be that hard to really find anything. Yeah, are they? Are do you know if they're uh, if they're all like weird mutant future animals? Yeah, uh, I just got to a point in the story where there's cyber sharks. Okay, <laughs> and uh, there's there's uh, I saw snakes that were glowing blue, so kind of like same thing like the whole neon overhaul. And then the finish all the garrisons. There's like thirteen. They're all on your map, and you use them to to uh, fast travel. So how big would you say the map is as compared to Far Cry Three? Uh, it's probably a little bit bigger, or roughly the same size as the second island in Far Cry. Okay. Because right, Far Cry, sense. the first island was ginormous, yeah. but the uh, second one's still pretty good. <laughs> the next team we're gonna talk about is Derp for 20 gamer score, which is jump down from 50 meters. Um, maybe you'll get this later in the game. I got this by just jumping off a cliff pretty early on. Yeah. So I filmed it. I'll show you a quick way to get an easy 20 gamer score. So uh, yeah, just you're, you're you're gonna die, but <laughs> it's 20 gamer score, so it's worth it. Next team we're going to talk about is Hail to the King for 40 gamer score, which is reach maximum level and become the ultimate badass. <laughs> that is just, uh, you get experience from uh, killing enemies, killing animals, uh, garrisons. There's like side quests for uh, saving hostages and stuff like that. So anything you do, you will... Uh, you will just gain experience, and the max level is 30. We should say, too, that uh, there is one difference between this game and Far Cry 3. Far Cry 3, you had uh, a skill skills tree. branch. Yeah, skills like the, the tattoos. Yeah, and you, you could kind of pick how you level it, but in this game, mm -hmm. it just auto-levels you as you go. Yeah, like the uh, get more the, like, the upgrades are set, so when you get to you know level 10 or whatever, you get like another health thing or something like that. You don't get to choose. Yeah. And uh, the last thing we're going to talk about are the collectibles in the game. Find all the notes, the VHS tapes, and the TV sets. Now, normally I would say that sucks, but just like Far Cry 3, uh, you can buy maps. And then they just show up on the, okay. on the on the on the mini map. Saves and, us from having to make a map. That's yeah, awesome. exactly. And if you if you don't have the map and you come close to say a VHS tape, it'll show up on the map. So okay. it's it's not that bad. Also, there are uh, you can upgrade your weapons in this game, but it's the same thing. You don't get to really like 
choose you just do certain goals and it's like hey that's it like you don't have to like skin sharks or something right, right you just have to like get a certain number of headshots or something like that yeah a certain number of headshots finish challenges and stuff like that so that's far cry 3 blood dragon it is an amazing game it's only 15 dollars uh you should play it now like i said you don't need far cry 3 to play it and one important thing do not fast forward through the cutscenes. the story yes. of this game is ridiculous and it's over the top and it's extreme could have gone terribly wrong yeah this kind of parody silly homage thing can go really badly but they did it dead on in this and it's awesome also the b the beginning <laughs> tutorial is hysterical i yeah. actually sat down and <laughs> I quote unquote did the tutorial. So uh, let's go back and play it. 